Rightio. Today I'm going to uh, just go through the basics of creating a stored procedure uh, for MySQL um, and how to query the stored procedure uh, once you've created it. I'm just going to pop up my SQL tool here, SQL Yog, and I'm going to connect to uh, a server that's uh, got some data in it just for this sample. Uh, basically, uh, I've, for example, someone queries, uh, you know, uh, a a service on the website w3dt.net. We'll look up, say, Microsoft.com here, and uh, as you can see, this will you know find the name service for Microsoft, um, and w3dt actually logs the data. So if we go here and have a look, um, you'll see that that query I just did for Microsoft.com uh, has come up here as a DNS lookup. Um, and that's that's me there. So basically, what I'm going to show you guys how to do is I'm going to show you how uh, to create a stored procedure, and you know, this is using my sample data, uh, and you know, how to then view that stored procedure. Okay, in this scenario, uh, I've got a database here called W3DT Logs. Um, in there, under Service Logs, is uh, my table data. Um, now, basically. I'm going to create a basic store procedure. I've actually already coded it. Um, so if I pop that query in here, uh, I'm going to select, you know, I'm, I'm basically, look, if you have a look, I'll execute this. I've got a basic procedure or query, sorry, that uh, will select from this uh, service logs uh, the top 25 entries uh, for 2008 um, in uh, ascending order. Um, basically, I'm going to put this into a stored procedure, and this stored procedure is called uh, sproc underscore query, query logs. That uh, then I can call that procedure, and that will then call this SQL code that I have here. Uh, a couple of things to note: in your, when you're creating a stored procedure, you do need to uh, use things called del uh, delimiters, and that's basically because when you make a MySQL query, uh, you put a semicolon at the end of your query. Uh, basically, that's you know so that SQL knows that that's the end of that query. And then, if you have multiple queries, uh, you can execute multiple queries at one time. For example, uh, in this case, using a store procedure, we have to change the delimiter, and that is so basically uh, you can create the procedure in one uh, SQL, I guess, run, so to speak. Um, so I'm going to execute this code I've just popped in here, and that will create a procedure. If we have a look here now. Uh, you can see I should have a store procedure. Where is that? Refresh. Where are we? Um, oh, there we are. Store procedures. Um, Spro Sprock query log. And if I actually open that up and just go alter, you'll see there that's the code I executed before. Now, basically, all that I need to do is. Um, I need to whoops <laughs> I need to uh, basically just now I can I can run that procedure I've made just as a normal SQL uh, query so if I go to my logs here this here I've got this store procedure uh, query logs so I can in fact just go call that and that will then return what I have as my stored procedure okay um, basically, I can do that also in uh, in PHP or whatever you want. Uh, you know, I can put whatever I want in the store procedure as long as it's an SQL query. And uh, you know, I can create tables, I can update data, I can move data, I can, all those things. Uh, you just need to make sure you use my SQLi if you're planning on using PHP. Uh, if you're going to use another language, uh, you know, such as ASP, um, you need to make sure that you have the latest. Uh, uh, ODBC driver from the MySQL website. Okay, that should wrap it up. If there's anything else, uh, flick us an email. I'll see what I can do.